Good evening, everybody. Mark Soto, HurricaneTrack.com here in, where are we? This is Brandon Bass, where, uh, Panama City Beach, right? Panama City Beach. Can you duck down enough so people can see you? Absolutely. So he's from Pensacola, huge fan of what we do, and uh, one of our Patreon supporters, right? Yes, sir. That's um, uh, close enough to the area that he's hung out with me for the better part of the afternoon. And we're going to go over the update here, show you what's happening with Alberto. All right, so... I can't make the camera view of me go away. Something's wrong with the app that controls it, so it'll just move me down to the side here. Uh, the 11 o'clock advisory has come out 11 Eastern time, and as you know from earlier this evening, a lot of, I won't say uproar, but people talking about it extensively, that the wind has come up to 65 miles per hour, pressure still 991, but you know, Brandon, it's still being dubbed subtropical and that's just annoying yeah. it needs to just be called tropical but it has to meet certain characteristics and again it's not going to matter too much in terms of the impacts to you all but i'm going to show you why it does matter here as we look at the satellite picture here let's just first scroll up oh i got the map coming up in a second the track map so here's a satellite presentation off of the weathernerds.org site and it's just got this sort of cinnamon roll look to it so to speak you know it's it's wound up uh loosely instead of compact with a central dense overcast with spiral banding coming off of it like we're used to seeing it's much spread out you see this huge slug of dry air that has worked its way into the core disrupting any core convection that's trying to develop there's some right there i point at it like you can see that there's some right there come on that's trying to develop near the center of circulation. But overall, convection-wise, which is the thunderstorms, and you want to see convection? That's convection down here off the southeast coast of Florida, stretching back over Cuba, all the lightning showing up in there. And this is void of that convection right now. Uh, if it starts to work out that dry air, what we call mix it out, then we're going to get rocked and rolled here Oh, yeah. Mr. Bass, you know, Jesse Bass. Are you yeah. guys related? No, we're not. Um, we're going to get rocked and rolled in Panama City Beach because it's coming essentially in our general direction. So the structure of it trying to become more tropical overall, but uh, for this to intensify and become a more convectively driven machine, it's going to have to work that dry air out, and it has about 18 hours to do so. And believe you me, it can do it. Look at the intensity guidance here from earlier this evening. This is the zero Z intensity guidance. All right, zero UTC. Some of the uh, statistical modeling now bringing it up to a category one. So there may be instances where we get, if the convection comes up, thunderstorm activity, some hurricane force wind gusts underneath some of those stronger bands. You're not going to see hurricane force winds uh, in some void of convection area, you know, like this, okay? At least you usually don't. It's going to be inside of these convective areas if it even happens at all. So we're going to watch it on radar from here on out, you know, satellite too, but the radar is really going to tell the story. And there's the track map forecast to make landfall late afternoon, Monday, Memorial Day, in the Florida panhandle. You know, over the last few days, this has gone from maybe a Louisiana, Mississippi problem uh, to Alabama, and now it's mostly a Florida panhandle direct impact problem. But, you know, up here in Maryland, Ellicott City, and then the Carolinas now, heavy rain, indirectly associated with this system. It's the overall pattern that's driving a deep plume of moisture out of the Caribbean Sea that we've seen several days in a row here, feeling this big wet pattern that we've had, and that's going to continue. If we look at the National Weather Service radar, that's a lot of moisture. Look at that line of showers and thunderstorms up there across the Del Marva, stretching aback, aback, stretching back across, that's what I was trying to say, um, Virginia. And then look at this, this moisture starting to gather here uh, in eastern Tennessee. I mentioned this earlier, you folks, anybody camping for Memorial Day in the Appalachians, be real mindful. Some of these rain totals in here under these underneath those thunderstorms, that's going to be high, and you can get some flash flooding problems from that. So indirectly related to Alberto, just that tap of moisture coming in 
out of the warm Gulf of Mexico and the very warm Caribbean funneled in to the southeast, and then, of course, the circulation around Alberto, this larger overall circulation pattern, sort of this Central American gyre that has now come up into the southeast through the Gulf of Mexico. It's just craziness feeling all this rainfall. So uh, tomorrow is it. Um, you know, this is going to make landfall, then to move inland. Uh, Alabama, eastern Alabama into Georgia, probably going to have a lot of heavy rainfall, the isolated tornado or two. So make sure you have your weather alert system, whatever that may be, available so that you can be alerted if there are tornadoes in your area and you can take cover. The impacts, heavy rain, maybe some storm surge flooding, but nothing major. And any of these very heavy convective bands, if they develop, those are the ones that are going to potentially bring 50, 60, maybe 70 mile per hour winds, maybe higher than that, but that's going to be really isolated. So we have three camera systems set up, one over here in Cedar Key where most of the activity is over now, uh, another one over in Carabel, which is roughly in here somewhere, and then another one in Mexico Beach. And those are feeding into our app, Hurricane Impact, and they're all labeled in there right now if you have that for iOS or Android and on our Hurricane Track Insider site, and for our Patreon members, um, that's how you access those. And tomorrow, we're going to be, as we did today, Brandon was involved with this, streaming on YouTube Live, that's a great platform, and uh, we will be out and about somewhere, uh, right around the crack of dawn, maybe later, depending on what this does, right. but uh, somewhere in the vicinity of where this should come in, Really keeping an eye on these rain bands. Kind of want to show you the effects from the vehicle. I have a rented Ford F-150 since the Tahoe is no longer in commission. So we'll be out in a big sturdy vehicle able to kind of show you what's going on with um, the effects of Alberto in open areas, etc., where you can show you the trees and other things. Kind of bringing you the real world aspect of it. Um, there's lots of bays and... Uh, bridges that go across those bays where you come off the off-ramp or to the approach that are nice and flat that are going to be easy to do that. But anyway, that's the plan for tomorrow. Probably 6 a.m. or so, you know, once it starts getting the light out, we will be out and about you know, showing you what's happening on YouTube Live. So if you aren't subscribed, now's a good time to be a subscriber on YouTube. Of course, that's free, right? And uh, hit the subscribe button, and then you get a notification. You get notified, right? Yeah, but you have to do click on the bell. After you subscribe, a little bell will click on the He knows. Right. He knows YouTube more than I do. It's good to have people that know things in your camp. <laughs> and, um, and you know, like the thing. Thumbs up. It's a few people doing thumbs down. I don't know. What, are you mad at me? I didn't do it. Come on. Maybe you're mad at the news, but they say don't shoot the messenger. But, yeah, all day tomorrow. And then this thing's going to track inland. And depending on what it does, you know, that right there is I-65, I'll draw on it in yellow, coming out of Mobile up towards Montgomery, and then it turns into I-85 up towards Atlanta. The whole area, think about morning rush in Atlanta, all this moisture coming up. Big day tomorrow for people traveling home probably in some cases, and then you have Alberto coming in on top of that. Not a good combination. So that's what I know for tonight. Been very busy down here. A very weird storm. It's over, but it's not over. You know, tomorrow making landfall, but it doesn't end there. So even that's what I was trying to say. Even though it looks like, oh, once this land makes landfall, it's over. Nope. Then we have to <laughs> kind of keep an eye on the inland aspect of it from there. So there's a lot more to go as we talk about Alberto over the next few days. Um, any questions or insight? You were talking about, you know, what make predictions of what people think that it might do. Yeah, if you guys sort of have, a YouTube, not a trick, but it's a, yeah. you know, speak. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys have any predictions about what's going to happen with this storm or what you think is going to happen yeah, what's your gut storm, feeling? over this storm overnight, go ahead and leave a comment and let us know and let us know what you think. And you know what? You might think about something that we didn't. And, you know, we'd really love to see that and really love to read that, especially in this community, which we're very deeply involved in. I didn't know there were so many weather folks. I don't like to call them geeks, but whatever. Yeah. Weather nerds on, yeah. uh, hey, I'm one of them. I'm proud of it on YouTube. That's fantastic. All right, good stuff. Well, I am Mark Suddeth. This is Brandon Bass behind me, and uh, we appreciate you tuning in. It's been a, man, it seems like I've already been down here a week, and it's only been yeah. 24 hours. Yeah. How about that? Thanks, as always, for tuning in. 
in the morning before I head out. Yes, I will produce another discussion and I'll catch you up on the very latest from there. Thank you for watching. Well, tune in again tomorrow.